Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars. Today I wanted to talk about the Dyson V11 series of cordless vacuums, which I've been a big fan of since the line came out, but I haven't really had the opportunity to look at the three main V11s, the Animal, the Torque Drive, and the Outsize, and compare them to one another to really decide which one had the most bang for the buck. And after a week of testing them and thinking about this, I was kind of surprised at my conclusion. So, links in the description to everything I'll mention, and let's get started. First, the basics. The V11 Animal is the cheapest, the torque drive is in the middle, and the outsize is the most expensive. Technically, there are a few other versions which have minor differences, which I'll mention later, but these are the main three. All three V11s have Dyson's new smart suction adjustment feature, where a sensor in the cleaner head detects if you're vacuuming hard floors or carpet, and it automatically adjusts the suction to compensate. More suction for carpets, less suction for hard floors. The benefit of this is that it optimizes the battery life and the performance. It's a pretty cool feature that I do actually find to be useful. All three of these are really good vacuums, meaning they're good at their basic job, which is picking up debris on hard floors and carpet. They all have a three-level adjustable gate on the front, and they're really good with carpet pickup of debris of any type and size. And with hard floors, they're also above average, though I would recommend using them with their front gates all the way open if you have hard floors. None of the V11s come with a soft roller or a fluffy cleaner head, which was an option with the previous V10 series, though you can get a version that has a soft roller, the V11 Absolute, if you're in the UK. All three V11s are really good with deep cleaning carpets, that is using a combination of their suction and agitation to get deep down embedded dirt in carpet, which they do better than just about any competitor. They also have excellent seals on hard floors, doing exceptionally well with things like our crevice pickup test. All three are also better than average at picking up hair without it getting tangled in the brush, which is primarily due to Dyson's unique brush roll design, something that other companies have started to emulate because of its success. The last similarity I'll mention is that they all have incredibly good whole machine HEPA filtration systems, which keeps all the dirty air in the vacuum, something that is unfortunately pretty rare in the cordless vacuum world, especially among the cheaper cordless vacuums. But I'm sure most of you are here to know about the differences, and one of the most significant differences with these vacuums is the screen on the back of the handle. The torque drive and the outsize have LCD screens, which displays a lot of things, from the power level that you're on, as well as various animations about alerts, like clog alerts. The most useful difference to me, though, is that it shows the exact amount of battery life that you have left, and that number changes depending on its current power level or the attachment that you're using, and even when the suction adjusts up and down with the auto adjustment feature, it changes automatically to reflect the new power level conditions. The V11 Animal, on the other hand, just has an LED screen, which technically has the same basic information, like power level, clog and tangle indicators, and battery life, but it's very basic, especially the battery life indicator, which just has three bars instead of the exact timing information. I find the LCD screens on the torque drive and the outsize, specifically the battery life countdown feature, to be really useful, something I don't want to do without now that I've gotten a chance to get used to it, but it's definitely not necessary, especially since the battery life is so good anyway, but it's something to factor into your decision. One advantage that the V11 Outsize has over the other two is the battery. Now, on the one hand, the battery life for all three of these is basically the same, with only slight variations, which I'll talk about more when we get to the power specs, but for the most part, they're all going to get about an hour on low power, about 40 minutes or so on medium, and about eight minutes on max power, and somewhere in the middle if you have it on auto power, which typically ranges in the middle of these numbers, and of course depends on your floor type since it will automatically adjust. But the Outsize is the only one that comes with with an additional battery which can be clicked into place. Therefore, you can effectively double all these numbers for the outsize because of the additional battery. It should be noted that there were a few people who got a V11 torque drive with the click-in battery, but that was apparently a limited time thing and that in the future, only the V11 outsize will have the click-in battery. Another big difference is the size. While the animal and the torque drive weigh the same and have the exact same high torque cleaner head, the outsize is big. It's a little over a pound heavier. It has a full-size cleaner head, about 25% wider than the animal and the torque drive. Its bin, too, is much larger with more than double the capacity. I'll have more to say about this size issue in the conclusion. Let's talk about their power. On the one hand, they all have the same motor size, but because of the way they're programmed and a few other variables, they have different airflow and suction measurements. For example, the official numbers from Dyson say that the outsize has about 35 more air watts than the animal and the torque drive. And 
in my suction and airflow tests, I certainly confirmed that the outsize was the most powerful and by about the same percentage. But what I wasn't expecting to find was that the cheaper one, the V11 Animal, was slightly more powerful than the torque drive. It had more suction and more airflow at the cleaner head. This was also confirmed by the unsealed suction test as well. Now, taking a step back here, it's important to note how much more powerful the entire V11 series is, regardless of the one you get, than just about every other cordless vacuum on the market. These are incredibly high numbers in general. But for whatever reason, possibly the fact that the animal doesn't need as much power for its LED screen, or whatever the reason, the V11 animal seems to have more power than the torque drive, but not as much as the outsize. The attachments are interesting because most companies don't offer all the good attachments in all levels of their lineup, where it appears that for the most part, no matter which one of these you get, Dyson has included the best attachments. For example, they all come with the mini motorized tool for stairs or upholstery. They all come with a wall mount, the crevice and combo brush tool, and the stubborn dirt brush. Really, the only difference here is that the animal doesn't come with the mini soft dusting brush and that the outsize comes with one extra charger for its one extra battery. All in all, it's a really excellent attachment package no matter which one you get. So based on all this, my conclusion is that I personally think the best value is the V11 Animal. It's true that I really love the digital readout of the battery life on the torque drive and the outsize, and it's a very compelling reason to upgrade, but in terms of usability, and performance, I think it's actually just slightly better to get the animal anyway. Yes, the outsize has that clickable battery and more power, but the battery life on the one battery on the animal is phenomenal. Dyson leads the industry in battery efficiency, in my opinion, so it's more than I've ever needed in my situation, and the extra battery doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Also, I really don't care about big dust bins. The bin size on the animal and the torque have been enough for me so far, and that extra pound of weight on the outsize is a lot, and it is noticeable, and I've started to see the outsize's big size as more of a con for my situation, but I can see it being a big pro for people who need this for bigger jobs. But the bottom line is that I think the V11 animal is the best bang for the buck in the V11 series. Links in the description for current prices on all three of these. You can also check out our new website where you you can compare the official specs of all three of these vacuums as well. Thanks for watching.